Welcome to the first video in a series of brief training tutorials on our new web portal 123skata.com. This portal is built using state-of-the-art technology. It is based on a desktop interface similar to how you use your desktop computer. Many windows are updated in real time as live data is received. While 123skata may look like an application, there is no software to install or security issues to worry about. You can access it using any modern web browser. Touch devices don't support mouse clicks, so we'll cover those differences in a future video. Most of the features from the legacy web portal have been carried over and significantly enhanced. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to configure desktop views and work with multiple windows so you can work more efficiently. These fundamental techniques will be useful to understand before diving into other areas of the portal. Let's get started. The way you get into the site is by logging into 123mc.com. As you can see, the new portal mimics the desktop layout. Let's start by opening an RTU view window using the Start menu. This is a summary of information for one of your RTUs. Just like your Windows desktop, you can have as many windows open as you want. Perhaps you would like to see the RTU information for a second location simultaneously. The window opens to the first RTU on your site, but you can change it to another RTU easily. Click on the telemetry icon and pick any of your RTUs. As new data is received from the field, these windows will be updated in real time. I will minimize this window for now. It's now in the tray at the bottom of your screen. You can replace our logo with the logo of your utility. Go to the bottom of the screen and click on the icon with the three horizontal bars. This is universally known as the burger icon. Simply upload a JPEG, PNG, or GIF file by clicking the upload icon. Congratulations, your logo now shows on your portal. Perhaps you would like to move it or change its size. You can change the size under the same hamburger menu. Click and drag the logo to place it where you want it. Now I'll show you how to open a graph window. Click on the RTU data shortcut on your desktop. Graphs help you visually understand historical data trends. The green bar at the far right indicates live data mode. That means when a new data point comes, the graph will reflect it immediately. The green button at the bottom will blink when new data comes in. You can scroll back in time by sliding the time picker at the bottom. The graph will automatically load data. This is called infinite scrolling. You can also zoom in by dragging the time bar inwards. You can just as easily use the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. Notice the green bar is no longer present when you scroll back in time. This indicates that you are no longer showing current readings. You can get back to the live data mode by dragging the slider to the right. It's easy to add gauges to your desktop. Click on the RTU data shortcut. Then, click on the burger icon and choose the analog gauge icon. The gauge opens in a window, but you can drag and drop the gauge onto the desktop. You can modify the gauge by clicking on it, or click and drag the edge to resize it. Now let's add the map. There are several ways to do this. In this case, I clicked on the desktop icon named Map. Notice the controls in the top right corner of the map title bar. When you hover over one with your pointer, you'll see a hint for Minimize, Maximize, Collapse, and Close. The Maximize option allows your map to cover the entire screen and function as a wallpaper. Notice that the windows I opened previously float above the map. You can undo this effect here. Our new dashboard window provides a quick summary of your entire system. We think you'll find it quite useful. Click the Start menu, then click Dashboard or click on the shortcut of your desktop. At the top, you can see how many alarms are active, how many RTUs are in service mode, RTUs connected, disabled RTUs, and RTUs that are offline. 
You can even see the chronological history of events. Moving and resizing windows is very easy. You can click and hold on to the edge of the window to change the size. Notice that your cursor changes when you are on the edge. Hopefully you're starting to get comfortable with the 123 SCADA portal. Now I'll show you how to save this desktop view. Over time, you'll most likely come up with a variety of views that will help you address specific issues. You'll certainly want to know how to do that. Go to the Start menu and click on Manage Desktops. Here, you're able to save the existing view, name it, or delete unused views. I'm going to call this my first desktop and click Add New to save it. If you ever feel like you have too many windows open, you can go to the Start menu and click Close All Views. I can open Save Desktops simply by clicking on the icon for the desktop view I just created and all the windows reappear the way I saved them. Now I will show you where you can set preferences. Go to the Start menu and choose the Preferences for User. Audio Announcements is a new option that causes audible enunciation of notable events as they occur. This requires an audio-enabled computer or tablet with the volume on. In the interest of time, I'll let you explore the other preferences on your own. These fundamental principles will help you in future tutorials. We greatly appreciate any feedback you have. Thank you for watching.